Kerry here from Homestead Owl. Welcome to our homestead in today's video. We're going to show you something that's become a little addiction of mine. It's indoor hydroponics gardening. And we've got a huge setup here. We're eating salads every single day and we have a huge setup in the corner there. And pretty soon, when winter comes around, we're gonna be able to have fresh vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, and herbs all year round with a simple hydroponic system. We're gonna show you that in today's episode. Let's get started. What do I say, Jay? How are we doing this? I'm gonna tell you about this company. You want me to do it? I'm Billy Mays. Billy Mays here for, that's disrespectful. Um, doo -doo. So over the last several months, I've been addicted to these indoor hydroponic systems. And I learned about hydroponics on An American Homestead, one of my favorite YouTube channels years ago. And Zach set up this huge elaborate setup outside with fish and recirculation pumps and it was awesome. The technology has come so far now, you can have a whole hydroponic setup right on your kitchen counter and it waters it, the pump runs every now and then, the lights come on and off as needed, smart technology, computers, whatever, however it's working. We're growing a ton of lettuce, we got tomatoes and peppers, and then we went nuts and we got this huge system, it's called the AeroSpring. We've shown this in previous videos, but it's been several months now, I've got some really cool time lapses I'm gonna show you. I've been going over to our AeroSpring, cutting off lettuce, making salads, hydroponic, organic, grown on our own property in our house, can do it year round, it's pretty awesome. So we picked up another one of these countertop systems from Lyco. I'll leave a link in the description below. And we thought rather than just setting this up, why not take a video and show you guys how we set it up, how we get it started, how easy it is to do in case you wanna get one of these for your own homestead. Or even if you're not a homesteader, that's what great is great about this. If you don't have acreage like we do, if you don't have a garden outside, you just need a countertop. We've got, what do we got Jen? Parsley, is it parsley or cilantro? We don't know what it is. It's either parsley or cilantro, but there's a ton of it. We also got a ton of dill that we've grown. Like an incredible amount of dill, so much dill we're, we're never even gonna use it, right? We made a little bit of dill dip with it. We were gonna do pickles, but the dill is going nuts over there. So um, we're learning and we're trying to balance things out. And right now we've got this system. So it's from Lyco, it's the countertop system. And then they sell these little kits. This is really fun and it makes it really easy. So this is the culinary herb kit, herbs. And it has, well, let me show you. It has a little bag with all of the seeds in it. It has a little plant food guide. And then you get these little pods and the sponges. And you grow everything in these sponges. There's no dirt at all. You're supposed to pre-soak these sponges, sponges for about five minutes. And I've already started my seeds yesterday. We're going heavy on the lettuce. I've got two different types of lettuce over here. Green leaf lettuce and green chard. So those are the two we're gonna be growing. And then this one over here has been going for a couple of weeks. I got a time lapse I'll show you. That's a bunch of, I don't know what kind of lettuce, but it's really good salad lettuce I've been eating every day. Today we're gonna to transplant that from there to our big arrow spring in the corner. And I gotta clean up the arrow spring because there was a couple things I experimented with and I don't know what the heck they even are. I thought it was spinach, it's some green thing. It just, it hasn't been growing, so I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna cut and trim some of the dill and some of the cilantro that's just overgrowing and then I have to change the water because it's been three months now and um, what are you saying Jen? There's a huge cucumber plant in there. Yeah. I think it's amazing because you can grow really huge cucumbers in there. You're gonna be doing tomatoes too. There's a huge cucumber plant in there. It's crazy to me that you can grow something in there. There's a huge cucumber plant in there and I don't, I'm debating doing, maybe we'll do lettuce in there and then we'll do this passion salsa in another one. I've already got some peppers over here. And look at this beautiful tomato plant I got growing. It's running out of space. The cool thing with this is you can lift this up. As the plants grow, you raise it up higher and higher. That's the little grow light that's underneath it. So anyways, let's unbox this Lyco system. What is that, Jen? I can't see it, Kara. Well, you got a camera. You can even the camera down. This is the Lyco grow system. Can you see it, Jen? Never limit your growth. Well, that's some good advice. I'll show you what it looks like before it's installed. Is that focused? Jen, is it focused? I believe so. It's hard to tell. Jen, is it focused? It's pink. 
Nice design. You got a little buttons on here for vegetables. You could do flowers. You can manually run the pump. You can turn the power on. But once you plug this thing in, here's all the lights. Once you plug this thing in, it's just automated. I'll come by at 3 in the morning and get a little midnight snack and the light will be on. Come back at 5 in the morning and the light will be off. I don't turn the light on or off. It just knows when it needs light to be on and off and it just does it all by itself. So everything comes within this little container and this is basically a reservoir for your water and there's a pump inside here. There's some tape holding it on. You can't see me again. Why don't you bring the camera around and we'll show them. I see it, Karen. While we put this, while I put this together real quick, Katie should come help me. While I put this together, quick, let's show them over here. So right here, and this is the second round, and this is lettuce. And I've got a really cool time lapse that I ran on this camera that I will show you. Some of these didn't grow, and we should have pivoted earlier, but I just left it because I was busy. The cool thing with this is you can see right here, that's your water level, and it will go down as the water evaporates and the plants use the water and do their thing. So you have to fill this up every now and then, and there are, it's water, and then it's um, some plant food that gets mixed in there. That's the nutrients. This is our huge tomato plant. That's another tomato plant right there. These are some peppers we have going. And then these little guys, for one reason or another, well, there's a little one right there, yeah, little, little fella. There. This is a little fella. So that one, um, we're gonna have to redo those. We do have a couple that are still missing, but overall, much better. So we're gonna add a third one, one, two, three, and we're gonna really ramp up the production. We have a large family here. We eat a lot of greens and salads, and I wanna be prepared uh, for whatever's to come in, in 2022, but also for winter when we can't grow stuff in our outdoor garden. We've got some big cabbage going in the garden right now and things like that. Now we'll come through our messy living room and past all these uh, studio lights. This is the Aero Spring. This is looking a little rough right now. I'm gonna clean it up right now but we have a ton of dill up here, and then we have cilantro, which smells really good. And you can't really see it, but over here, this is a huge cucumber. Yeah, this, see, that's what I'm wondering, how that's gonna grow. It's this attaching a, to everything, yeah. which is so beautiful. This is a little experiment. This was supposed to be spinach, but it clearly wasn't spinach. I must have mixed the seeds up. All of these are coming out. And then this is lettuce, and this will cut off. Today I'm gonna to eat a salad off of here, I'll cut this off. So I'm gonna clean this up, remove these, and then we're gonna transplant that awesome lettuce that we have over there into here. And then this thing is just gonna be a lettuce producing machine. We'll be able to come here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner eating lettuce if we want. You cut it off, it's like when you get a haircut, it starts to grow back in thicker and thicker. So, um, And there's lettuce all the way around the corner. There's 27 pods on here. This is called an Aero Spring. There's a big tank of water down here. And it's been three months and add more water. It's the first time I've had to do it in three months. 27 pods, there's a little exhaust fan up here. This is super bright with the LED lights, but these go up. So when we don't want to see the bright light, these will go up. But they also come down and we have a window right here. And we usually have the window open during the day so we get as much natural light on there as we could. You can even roll this thing outside and take all of these down and just have natural sunshine going in there. And then um, the cool thing with this is it's kind of a smart system that's controlled on the phone. Chen? Chen's holding the camera. Can you do it? No. It's a smart system controlled on your phone. So these <coughs> lights, oh, don't want to show that. That's a little sneak peek from the next episode of Homestead How. Huh? Ooh, what could that be? So right here, <laughs> this is just an app. And these are just smart plugs. Watch, boom. Probably gonna take a second to focus. Boop. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Boop. Boop. You get the idea? But these are on timers. Oh, Did you hear that? Pump's going. I didn't even press that. So there's a water pump in there and it just went on, unless I accidentally pressed it. It's on a timer and it goes on for 45 seconds once every hour. Put pushes water all the way up this column and then it showers all the way down, feeding all of the plants. The water is in here. And we're definitely getting low. But this whole system is automated, which is the coolest part. The pump goes, the lights go on and off. You just set it one time in here, you set a little routine, they go on and off. For the last three months, I've done nothing. I don't have to come here and water or anything. I cut some of the lettuce off and we eat it, and that's it. So we're gonna have this year round. Like I said, this has gone crazy. So we're gonna trim this back because we're not, <laughs> we don't need that much. And then, I think this was basil or something, but this one's dying, so this one's coming out. 
So we're gonna do that next, add the water, set up the countertop system, teach you everything that we've learned about it in case you wanna do it yourself. So let's do that next. All right, we got all of this out. We've really cleaned things up because we had some major overgrowth on some of this cilantro and some of this dill. We're gonna save this though and use it in some rice that we're gonna have later today. I chop it up and put it in all the salads I eat. And then the dill, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the dill, but um, we've cleared a lot of space and really cleaned things up and trimmed things back to what we're gonna use. Now we're gonna transplant over from there, move our tomatoes over and all of our lettuce over. This smells amazing though. My sense of smell isn't 100% back. Maybe if I just sniff on this all day. Real simple, 250 of this, 250 of this, pour it in there, but first we gotta put the water in there. So I'm gonna go grab a hose and I'm gonna fill it back up. That's so white. So is your mom. Jeez! You can get it everywhere. Hey! Your <sighs> shit's not too white. You're white. So we're filling this up with water. All right, so we have the whole tank filled up and now we're putting our Grow A in, 300. This is like the plant food. Put that in there, stir it up a bit. And then the Grow B, same thing. And that's it, and now we'll be good for three more months, but I want to be keep a closer eye on it because we were down to the very bottom. Some of these plants are looking a little bit rough. I don't know, this one looks okay, but there's some brown spots on it. And I think that's because the water was getting really low. Did I pour that in already? You did, now you gotta stir it. I'm sleeping. We have a little spot for all of our plant food. Now I'm gonna hit the pump. Just manually, even though it'll run every hour. Hmm? What are you on TV? I'm famous. You pretty much can't even go out anymore. Okay, here we go. Listen. You hear it, Jen? Oh, look, if I pull this one off. Yeah, it sounds much better. You can see in that, you can see it sprinkling down in there. Yeah. Okay, while that's going, let's go over here and we'll get this light looking cut. Katie's gonna help me because she's a professional. Katie did the other two. So I soaked the seeds overnight. Just like the big system, this has plant food that you mix up for it. It has these sponges, which replaces the dirt. This is what you plug in. Here's a little water pump in here. Like that, just like I said. Sorry. Do we have to do that all over again now? No. This goes right here. What was that, like two minutes? As she fills it up, we'll see this little gauge go up. So Katie and I mixed up a little bit more water that has the, is it medicine? Plant food. Plant food in for these. I'm not gonna try to pour it in there yet though because we have to transplant these to Aerospring. I didn't know where Carrie's running to. We'll grab these. We're gonna probably make a big mess on the counter, but that's okay. It's hard to tape somebody when you don't know what they're doing. Didn't we just put it in there, Katie? You can't put the thingy in. Oh no, take we took the, the thingy out. Take the thingy out. Okay, here, you do one. You gotta be real gentle with it. There you go. Wow, is that beautiful? Let me see that. Look at that. I think it's a little too small. Sorry, that's what we did last time. Wow. Or we can switch it to the rock one. So that's one, two. Look at that. Look, this is the one that I had on the time lapse. This has been the big one. This is my favorite. Oh, Katie, be careful with that one. Can you hear our children fighting in the background, Jen? Something about shoes. I hope they resolve the matter. Katie, is that really normal one? I'm gonna try to help. See Lily's feet. Hello, Lily. Wait, I'm not there. We're trying to keep all the lettuce in the same <laughs> spot. Here, I was helping. 
Is that different lettuce? That is different. Look, it's different. You see? Yes, it's different. All right, now here comes the big one. These, these are peppers. How are we gonna mark this, Jen? Ooh, that's big roots. She says a dry erase marker. Let's do it. Katie, can you get the dry erase marker? No one mark these? These are peppers. This is a healthy looking plant. It smells like a plant, Jen. Like a smell. tomato? No, just like a plant. Oh, okay. Look wow. Okay, right we'll put these peppers over, Jen. Follow me while Katie works on that. Okay, well, I will go this way. Peppers on the top? Peppers on the top. Peppers on the top. Pepper? Pepper. Hello, little pepper. Pet. Her. Nice. Sunlight! Oh, it's yellow. This one goes, what is this thing? It's not tomato no more. That's lettuce. I'm gonna get them all mixed up now. Tomato's going down there. That's its new home. We're gonna start planting in these. So I'm gonna top off the water. Make a big mess. Yeah. All right, so now we've got sponges soaking in there for a couple minutes. This is all watered and ready to go, and now we're gonna plant all of our seeds and plant everything out. Jen's got some passion salsa. Yep, lemon drop Focus. peppers, cayenne pepper. Okay, let's try it. So Katie's doing our lettuce station over here. We just marked it with a little dry erase marker. Jen's doing Tomatoes and peppers over here, the salsa kit. All right, we got all three of these set up. We've got tomatoes, broccoli, Different types of lettuce, peppers, cucumbers, all growing in here. So I made myself a salad. Now we're all set up for a couple months on all of these. They're all watered. We have new seedlings. Transferred everything over to the Aero Spring, and we're going to be growing a ton of our food. It is July, middle of July right now. August, September, October, November, all year. We'll do an update later and show you what that's looking like when it really fills up now that we've transplanted all this lettuce over. Even if you don't have a homestead or a garden or space to grow, you can do it right on your countertop. It's really easy, it's a fun little hobby, and then you get some nice, healthy, fresh food whenever you want it, just like this. Thanks a lot for watching.